Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today, we're doing The Flash, and we're doing Season 1, Episode 17, and the episode is called Tricksters. And so we're going to start off with a flashback of Nora Allen, and then the fight scene around her. And then we have the present day, where um, they're looking back and they're getting evidence from Wells. And then we cut to um, where Joe West says he's going to be, he says to be patient and not to just try and get everything. So my blanket's a little bit in the fray. <laughs> and so um, he says to be patient and don't rush anything and just play it cool. Just act like nothing has happened and just don't worry about it. And then we cut to where gifts are falling from the sky. And it's around the playground with a bunch of kids and stuff. It turns out they're all bombs. And then we have the trickster intro. And then we have um, Barry saves um, the little kid at the very end. And then we go back to Star Labs. We have Barry being very icy. Like, very, very icy towards Wells. But, of course, Wells is super smart. And he notices that. Then we have a flashback scene where... Um, Turns out the reason why the reverse flash couldn't go back because he ran out of speed in the last fight and he can't go back. So then we have the present day where the OG trickster is Cray in prison. And um, he is super mad at the copycat. I mean, he is being insane. And Mark, I uh, think Mr. Hamill, Mark Hamill. Um, he's playing the original trickster, and I think also voices the Joker, I want to say, and the Batman the Animated Series, I think, as well. So, he's doing a super cool job um, at being a trickster. I mean, incredible character. I was like, this man crying. So, anyway, um, so, um, he lets it, he tells Joe and Barry that he must have found it in his lair. And then we have um, Iris is voicing um, her concerns to Eddie about the news reporter. And so then we cut to where Joe and Barry go to the lair. They almost get blown up. And um, turns out the imposter trickster took everything from the lair. And I mean everything. So then he visits his dad at the prison. And then they talk to the trickster again, and then he gets furious. He thought he was mad at the earlier. He got even more crazy up here and mad. And then um, then he tells him about the big bomb that's enough to blow up the entire city. So, and then we go to more iciness with uh, Wells, between Barry and Wells. And again, he's like, <laughs> he's like, and Joe's like, and so Wells asked Joe, like, what's wrong with Barry? He's like, he's just going through a lot right now. It's fine. He'll be fine. Then you have the flashback where Wells and the girlfriend are talking, and it turns out the girlfriend's one that came up with Star Labs. Because he wanted to name it after her, but she said, no, 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 just call it Star Labs. And then um, the reverse flash watches them like a creeper. And then we go to the present day where the Flash and Iris talk about the news reporter. And he will look into it. And then it turns out the trickster does a vlog, which is kind of what I'm doing, but not really. So anyway, um, he tells where the bomb is, but um, when Barry gets there, it's not there. And he doesn't trust Wells, who um, tells him like, it could be somewhere else. But it turns out the Empty box. Uh, the bomb's not there, obviously. So it turns out it goes off at the prison, and the trickster took um, Barry's dad, Henry, and then OG trickster is the new trickster's dad, and then there's a Star Wars reference in there, which is kind of cool. So, <laughs> and then we have Barry is super upset. And then we have the flashback scene where original Wells is driving with the girlfriend. But the reverse flash causes, causes an accident. And then it um, turns out Tess died. That was the girlfriend's name. And then um, basically, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So. <laughs> so then we have the present day where Joe and Barry talk. And it's like, got to keep it cool. Wells, just keep your cool. 
And Joe, I mean, Barry is trying, but it's kind of hard for him. And then it's Fancy Gala time, where the tricksters there, along with the new trickster, the tricksters are there. Okay. It turns out they poisoned the champagne, and that's where Iris is also at as well. And then when Barry tries to, um, or the Flash tries to stop him, they put a bomb on him. And he has to go 600 miles minimum per hour or, or the bombs want to go off and kill him. So uh, then Wells says he can face through solid objects and um, basically encourages him to do that. But he kind of gives himself away because he gave like a really, really um, descriptive feeling on what's, what it feels like and stuff. So that he kind of uh, gave himself up a little bit. And, but it does work, and then the Flash cures everyone, and saves his dad, and then reveals himself, um, very, reveals himself to his dad, and, and then visits Star Labs, and then Henry actually thanks everyone, and then Barry is finally starting to act nicer. Finally. And then the OG Wells um, in the flashback scene gets out of the car. Then Thon kills Wells with this weird device to um, where he looks like Wells. And kind of just disposes of the body. And then we cut to the present day where Eddie and Joe talk about um, the Flash. And so Barry also reveals himself to Eddie. And then um, tells him, like, you can't say anything to um, Iris about this period. And the news reporter is dead, but you can't tell Iris that either. So Eddie gives Iris a false story. And then Barry uh, feels Wells is the first Flash in the flashback scene where um, his name is Wells. After he disposed of the body and everything. So that's the end of this episode. It was a crazy episode. I will give this an A plus because it was super. Um, so get a little bit of a reverse flash backstory and how he got there and why he can't go back to the future to where his original time is. So I thought that was really interesting, and I like how you know everything is progressing and going along. So I really really do like that a lot. So I'm going to keep kind of. Under, I'm going to try to keep under 8 minutes. So if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have an awesome day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.